Arthroscopic caps release in the elbow can be very complicated and a difficult operation to carry out successfully. As we can see here, we insert the camera into the anterior compartment of the elbow. It's very difficult to appreciate the orientation and even the capsular and bony anatomy. A technique tip is to apply a large metal cannula and sweep it proximally to release the proximal capsule anteriorly. We can see the brachialis muscle is exposed and allows us to then have a leading edge as shown here to excise all or a portion of the anterior capsule and perform a more effective and efficient capsulectomy while minimizing the iatrogenic insult. We can see the entire anterior capsule as viewed from laterally has been excised. In the same patient, if we look from anterolaterally, we can see the radiocapitellar joint, we can see the debris anterolaterally, and we can see the leading edge of the released capsule, which basically falls into our field of view and is more easily excised, again, protecting the all-important nerve vascular structures anteriorly. This same metal trocar technique can be used in the posterior compartment in this same patient as shown. If we insert the metal trocar into the area of the lecronine fossa and then we, using the arthroscopic camera, we follow this metal trocar approximately to the origin of the posterior capsule, we can likewise elevate and release the posterior capsule as shown here, just as we did on the anterior compartment in the anterior humeral surface. After release of the proximal aspect of the capsule, the arthroscopic shavers can then be brought in to excise part or all of the posterior capsule, just as we did anteriorly in this same patient. Another advantage of releasing the proximal capsule is that it increases the view and the room to work, both anteriorly and posteriorly, and then we can do our additional debridement as shown here to remove debris and clean out the gutters as shown here as part of a complete capsular release.